Hello everyone, my name is Brian Jaros, the Systems Administrator for REDCap at GWU, George Washington University. I will, uh, this is a new segment I'm starting called REDCap Corner. The purpose of REDCap Corner is to explain various features and details about about REDCap, uh, such as using external modules, using field embedding, uh, using the instrument library, just various things. Uh, these videos will range about uh, two minutes to about five minutes with some with scenarios uh, You will probably be hearing from me in some of these videos and some of our affiliates from Children's National We are hoping that these videos will expand the knowledge of our users and have and make sure they have a smoother experience using REDCap All right, everyone welcome back to REDCap corner uh, our first video will be about transferring projects from Children National to GWU. Um, recently, GWU has started their own instance of a, a REDCap. And what we're trying to do is uh, where some of the users are going to be migrating back over to GWU. So I will be providing this video on how to transfer your projects. Uh, so the task of this is going to be how to move the projects, what to expect, and additional tasks that need to be done. Okay, so the purpose of moving your project from Children's National to GWU is because most of, um, before GWU had their own instance of REDCap, most people just use Children's Nationals. Uh, but now the ones who want to switch back, um, th this is what this video is for. So we will start here on Children's National REDCap, which is CRI-DataCap.org. And we will go ahead and log in. And so you will want to find your project that you want to transfer it back over. For this scenario, we will be using the practice project. All right, well, instead, we'll use the schedule A form. So you, you, you click on that project. So the first move you want to do is go to other functionality right here at the top and click on that. And so you get a list of things that you can do. You can copy or back up your project, you can download it, you can delete the data, you can erase the data. Um, but for this one, we would like to download the metadata and the data in the XML file right here. Uh, so we click on that and include the alerts and notifications in your survey and survey settings. So everything will be moved. So then you get this pop-up box right here. Um, so if you want to include all your uploaded files and signatures, you can. So here we will. So all that transfer over. If you want to de-identify the data, you can if you want. If you want to remove the date and time fields, all that is up to you. We will also export our survey identifier fields and survey timestamp fields so we know when our participants completed their surveys. So down here at the bottom, we will click export entire project, the metadata and data. It's exporting and then now you will get this box right here where you have to download your XML file. And this XML file is basically the whole project in one file. So we're gonna download it and you will wanna save this in a place where you can get right back to it which is what I'm going to do. Okay, now that we got that XML file saved, we would go back over to the GWU REDCap instance and we will sign in through the single sign-on. So now we will go to my projects. Well, no, sorry. We'll go to new project and you enter the same project title, uh, same note, same project purpose as you did as that same project that you're transferring. So that was the schedule A form. That was operational support. So this is the part where the file gets uploaded. 
you will click on upload a red cap project XML file and then browse for that same file that we just downloaded open and we'll go to create project and now your project has been transferred uh, if you go to designer you will see all your instruments are still there uh, if you go to the record status dashboard all your records are still there also and if we go if you have alert and notifications those have transferred also uh, one thing that I would like to say that might not transfer is your external modules so if you are using external modules in your project and children's you will have to contact the team at GW to have those same modules enabled on your project which can be done you just have to reach out to us and let's not forget that we have to put this project back into production mode so we would go to project setup and scroll all the way to the bottom and move our project to production mode and for more resources on how to move projects and do other various things on our website here um, on the how to guides you can also find that guide right here just moving the project from Children's National to GW Red Cap.